Hey party people, I'm Captain Zeus and welcome to BP Fun. In today's video, I'll be giving you my top 5 upcoming MCU projects that just shouldn't be made. In this list, I'll be going over Marvel Cinematic Universe shows and movies that have been officially announced and to be in the works or releasing soon. Before we get into these top picks, be sure to like, subscribe for more nerdy content like this and click the bell to be notified when we post another top 10 or top 5 video. Now let's dive into some hot takes that you really won't like. 12%?! <laughs> That's a fake laugh. <laughs> it's real! Number 5. Agatha All Along. Okay, let's be honest here. Who asked for the show to be made? Not only was Agatha being the big bad a bit of a letdown at WandaVision with all the Mephisto hints, but as soon as she's taken care of, we get a whole show about her breaking free from Wanda's spell? That makes no sense, especially when Billy, Wanda's son, is the one breaking her free. How is he even there? Why is he even trying to break her free? It just makes no sense. Now, don't get me wrong. It would have been cool to see her in another Wanda a project or in some other projects revolving around the supernatural, but an entire series dedicated to her breaking free doesn't seem logical unless they're going the route of her being a misunderstood hero or an anti-hero, which is what they've been doing with 99% of the antagonists in the MCU. All I can say is the only good thing about the show is that we get to see wifey Aubrey Plaza in it. Other than that, it makes no sense why this should be made or why people are even interested. Number 4, Wonder Man. This series needs to be scrapped ASAP. To start things off, they're race washing yet another Marvel Comics character for literally no reason. Wonder Man is going from being a Caucasian man to a black guy. The actor playing him will be Yawa Abdul Mateen II, who's best known for his role as Black Mana in the Aquaman movies. Don't get me wrong, he's a great actor, and I would have loved to see him in the MCU in pretty much any other role. But Disney's race washing is just super annoying. Not only that, but this project's been development since 2022. Other than the casting of Wonder Man and the fact that Ben Kingsley is reprising his role as Trevor Slatery in it, nothing else is known about this miniseries that's supposed to be dropping on Disney Plus soon. I'd rather they scrap this series and come back to it with a comic accuracy in mind and focus on Blade because that movie needs to be released already. Number 3, What If Season 3. I'm gonna be real with you guys, this show shouldn't have even gotten a Season 2, let alone a Season 3. Not only is the premise barely even explored in any interesting manners in the show, but they also try to make all the universes connect to a singular story instead of this just being an anthology series about popular What Ifs fan have wanted to see. You also have garbage CGI slash 3D animation, cringy writing, and the only interesting aspect of the show being Ultron vs. The Watcher fight at the end of Season 1. No wonder Season 3 is gonna be the last of the series. They should have taken a page from the the Star Wars Visions book and just have each episode be unique with not only animation, but the story. Number 2, Avengers Doomsday. Now this is a hot take for sure, and for one particular reason. Robert Downey Jr. as Doctor Doom. Formerly known as Avengers Kang Dynasty, with Marvel firing Jonathan Majors as Kang, this film has just been up in the air. And instead of recasting Kang and giving us an intriguing Kang story that they've kind of been building up to already, they decided to just scrap it all for some reason. Little is known about what the plot of Avengers Doomsday will be and how this will be built up as a major event since filming starts next year. But what we do know is that this version of Doctor Doom is the same one that'll be in the upcoming Fantastic Four film, The First Steps. It's crazy that this is even happening, but you can tell Marvel is desperate since they brought in the Russo brothers back to direct both upcoming Avengers projects since they couldn't find a director for either. It's also a shame that instead of a fresh new face as the big bad, we're gonna be getting someone who's synonymous with Iron Man for the last 10 plus years. Nothing against RDJ, he's a great actor, but you can tell he's doing this because of the ridiculous salary he's getting paid and that Marvel's pretty much lost on what will come next. Before we get to my number one pick, I have a quick honorable mention. There's been a ton of rumors about the upcoming Spider-Man 4 movie, and the most consistent one is that it'll be a multiverse movie. The MCU Spider-Man trilogy has been mid at best, with its wasted potential and fantastically cast villains that are either killed or never seen again. And don't get me started on No Way Home. If Spider-Man 4 is a multiverse movie, then it shouldn't be made. From the rumors of Venom and Daredevil being in it to basically being a Spider-Verse film, it seems that Sony and Disney has no idea what to do with the franchise. And we all see what Sony does when they're in charge of Spider-Man projects. <laughs> Number one, Ironheart. Why is this show even being made? Honestly, you have a character that had no presence in Wakanda forever, who was forced to be important, and her comic counterpart not being interesting by any means and is just the wishless version of Iron Man trying to be the upgrade no one asked for. The only good thing about this show is that we're gonna be seeing the hood, who's pretty cool by the way. But there's rumors saying that he'll be the Ghost Rider version, which is actually the most recent comic version of the Ghost Rider. Ryan Coogler's production company is producing the show, which isn't surprising since she was introduced in the Black Panther film that he directed 
directed, but she isn't a character we need a series of. There are more interesting characters in the MCU that deserve their own show, like Monica Rambeau or Black Knight, to name a few, or deserve another season like Moon Knight and Hawkeye. But Ironheart getting her own show already before all of these other characters that we've seen before doesn't make sense. Now, do you agree with these picks? Please let me know in the comments below what upcoming MCU project you think just shouldn't be made. Don't forget to show some love to the channel by dropping a like and subscribing for more nerdy content. Thank you all so much for watching.